Hi kids, it's Mrs. Lorenz again. Today we're going to read about Lord and Ladybug. Again, our author um, is Stephen Cosgrove and the illustrator is Charles Reisner. Um, one more of the books in the series that I've read before. Um, actually, I have two, but this is another one for today, Lord and Ladybug. This is dedicated to Diane and Mo Morris, for they are the Lord and Ladybug. As you lay on a brisk fall day in a warm and sunny place, don't look up into the skies. Instead, look down and squint your eyes. Squint them both so very tight that if you look with all your might, You'll find the land of more than small, and in this land are bugs, that's all. This says Bug Manor. Out beyond the pumpkin patch, there is an old and eerie section of Bugville, where the streets twist and turn until all of them finally end up at Old Bug Manor. On this autumn day, the black iron gates creaked forlornly in the wind. Bug Manor seemed to be inhabited now only by the mists and mysteries of another age. Inside the mansion, the spiral staircase tilted precariously as it wound down from the upper floors. Cobwebs lay over all of the furniture. The dandelion chandelier hung crookedly from its chain. Nothing looked as if it had been used for years. No bug had lived here for years and years, except for the caretakers, Lord and Lady Bug. They sat all alone in the rooms filled with ghosts and thoughts of times long gone. They drank thistle-down tea and ate their root-nut cookies Ladybug baked every morning. Once in a while, in the early evening's hush, as Lord Bug walked his inspection rounds, strange and weird noises could be heard in the rooms where no bug had been for years. With lantern held high, Lord Bug would look quickly around the room. What's that at the window pane, he asked. Ah, just some bug kids looking for ghosts, he exclaimed. Later that night, as they sat there with their nightcaps on, Ladybug sighed a great big sigh. And she said, we shouldn't be running bugs off when they come around. We should invite them in for a little conversation and a sip of tea. They'd never come, Lord Bug said as he shook his head. Remember what the kids chant? Old Bug Manor, there is no doubt. Don't go in, cause you won't come out. Lady Bug was bound and determined to have some bugs visit her as at Old Bug Manor. She wandered up and down the halls as she remembered all of the great parties they used to have. That's it, she exclaimed. We'll throw a party, a costume party, and this old house will be filled for a change. With that, she grabbed her skirts by the hem and raced down the hall searching for Lord Bug so they could plan the party. The very next day, all the bugs of Bugville received an invitation in the mail. Lord and Lady Bug worked really hard as they cleaned that house. The cobweb covers were pulled off all of the chairs, and everything was polished to a bright, shiny glare. They worked all that day and most of the next, preparing Bug Manor for the greatest party Bugville had ever seen. They cooked and cooked all sorts of treats for the party. There were beetle feet sandwiches with Polandaise sauce and clover topped candies spread with jam. 
They made up games, games galore, apples for dunking, and much more. When all was ready, they both rushed upstairs to put on their costumes, and once they were dressed, they zipped back downstairs to await their guests. Ladybug was regal in a mask and a dancing gown, and Lord Bug was dressed up as a clown. They both sat and waited as the old hall, hall clock ticked off the time. They waited and waited, but no bug came. Ladybug was so heartbroken that she sat quietly in the corner, crying small bug tears while Lord Bug tried to console her. Maybe they're just late, he said with a smile. Maybe they'll be here in a little while. They're not coming she said in a quiet voice. Not any bug girls and not any bug boys. They had nearly given up and put out the lights when the old mansion chimes rang not one but twice. The two of them opened the door and there before them stood a cow bug as scared as could be. My name is Snug and uh I'm, well, I got an invitation to come to your party, and uh, here I am. With all the grace of years gone by, Lord and Lady Bug welcome Snug into Old Bug Manor for their very special party. For the rest of the crisp fall night, Snug and his newfound friends played every game you could imagine and ate the best of the best bug food. Just beyond the warm golden glare of the lights from Old Bug Manor, a bunch of other bugs sat huddled in the cold. They peeked and looked with a giggle and a grin, but those poor dumb bugs were too scared to go in. So, if your fill, excuse me, if your fears, you will find only the shadows of your mind. So, in other words, don't be so scared about things that you don't know about. Check it out first. These were some nice old people that just wanted a friend, just like you sometimes, right? Okay, we miss you at school, but we'll talk to you again. See ya. Bye.